Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the week of November 4th through the 11th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is not a private reading. It may not be for you. We'll see what happens. Typically, I focus on love. Again, we'll see what happens. This little monkey right here seems to be talking to me. I keep on wanting to say, be careful what you hear. Be careful what you hear. So, I mean, I just, I can't stop looking at him. Something's going on with him. Somebody may not be telling you the truth. So, be careful. And you know what the truth is. Listen to your intuition, Leo. Now this is a card of freedom and liberation, breaking free from something. It's like the storm is over and it's time to stand up. It's time to clean up the mess. Somebody may be thinking about walking away or they have walked away and maybe they want to come back. Could be a, a water sign. But it looks like you've cut yourself free from this situation. But you may be feeling a little, if you're a woman, you may be feeling a little emotional at this time. Overly emotional even. Maybe you're having a hard time, you know, keeping it together. Maybe there's some tears being shed over a situation. Maybe somebody's left or you've left and you're lonely. I don't know. There's definitely, like, there's something sneaky going on. Like I said, you don't know the truth. And you do know the truth deep down, but somebody's lying. And what the real deal is, is they want to come back. Somebody wants to come back. And they could be using emotional blackmail as a tactic to get you back. Just saying. Looks like the power's in your hands. The power's in your hands, Leo. You've done some sort of inner work. And somebody doesn't want to be alone. Somebody has been left out, okay? Somebody, I think you've already severed some ties. Or some ties are about to be severed. Something like that. But you got somebody in this dynamic that doesn't want to be alone. They don't want to be alone. They're like, oh, I can't be alone. Codependent, okay? You got a codependency issue here. Definitely a codependency issue. Now, this is the Five of Wands reverse. That's turning away from conflict. I'm not going to play this game. I don't want to play the game. And release. Reality check. I, this is the reality of it. It's the, ra the truth comes out. The truth is, I have found the force within me to shed the old. Somebody is taking action to bring success. That is the whole basis of this reading. You and your oneness. You standing in your power. You finding that force within you. You using all those resources, all those tools to bring success to your life. And I think that you do find the passion to do that. You find that passion to go after what you want. You find that oneness and somebody doesn't want you 
to let them go. This right here, the moon reversed, is be careful. Remember when this is be care, be careful. Remember with what you hear. Because I feel like somebody is going to, the moon is lies. Somebody is going to, it is. It's lies. And this is lies. So somebody is going to say whatever they got to say to come back. They want to come back. Somebody wants to come back, Leo. But it's not... Well, you've already released. That door has already been closed by the looks of things. You've given up. Whoo! Yeah, somebody wants a reconciliation. Somebody wants another chance. Could be dealing with Scorpio. We have Pisces. We have Gemini. If somebody wants a reconciliation. Somebody wants you to give them another chance. They want you to forgive them. And you're going to have to make a judgment call. This person cheated you, lied to you in the past. And your intuition knows what you need to do. Somebody wants you to forgive them for what they did. They want you to forgive them for <laughs> deceiving you. Cheating you, robbing you, whatever they did, they want you to forgive them. And you're probably not having it. You're probably like, no, mm -mm. this isn't destined. <laughs> it's not destined, right? I'm not going backwards. It will bring you backwards if you do. Because that's not love. Love doesn't do those kinds of things, whatever they did. Love doesn't just stay with somebody just to say, I have another person, I don't want to be alone. Love doesn't lie and deceive on a regular basis. They don't keep secrets. I mean, come on now. A lot of secrets. A lot of secrets here. A lot. So, uh, yeah. Somebody wants to come back. They want you to forgive them. They kept secrets. They were shady. They were sneaky. And you know that that's not love. But this person is going to say, you know, they're going to use emotional blackmail. I love you. I can't live without you. I can't be alone without you. You're the love of my life. Blah, 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 blah. That's what's going to happen. And you're going to be like, no, I'm sorry. I've already started over. I've learned my lesson. Lesson learned. This cycle, this phase is over. Completion. Major completion at that. We've been through all that we can go through. We've reached the end. The last card. The end. The end. So, I feel as though, Leo, I'm not going to keep going. This week, you are going to be presented with some sort of offer for reconciliation. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And this, if this isn't a reconciliation, this could be somebody that you has a bad reputation. Okay? Somebody that has a bad reputation for cheating on people and whatever. You know that you know about this deceptive person you know that this person doesn't have a good reputation whatever it is and now they want you to give them a chance they want to bring you backwards i feel like you're probably going to say the end the end so for those single leos yeah there still could be an offer there still could be an offer I still think it's somebody you know, though. I'm sorry. I, I hate to tell you that because I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, and I, I, I sure as hell don't. But there's somebody that does want another chance with you. They want you to give them a chance. Somebody wants you to give them a chance, but they do not have integrity, okay? And you know it. You know it. End of story. End of story. 
So let's get some of these. Oh boy. If that's not a good advice card, I don't know what is. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You already know. I mean, you already know what you got to do. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Don't let loneliness drive you back into the arms of somebody like this. They're marrying each other, okay? Don't let loneliness drive you back into the arms to somebody that hurt you. Think positive. You do have a major new beginning coming, but patience is needed, okay? Don't go back to something because you are lonely. Something that was where there was secrets and lies. And you know there was. There was. I mean, there's so much deception here. There is. I'm sorry to say that. Deception. Deception. Secrets. 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 The judgment. Secrets. There is. I'm telling you right now. Okay? And it's not. That isn't love. It's not love. Step over that finish line. Celebrate your success and manifest. You have the power to manifest at this time. Use it wisely. This is a wake-up call. It is a wake-up call. The end.